Hey guys, Griffin here. Today we're going to be talking about hit and expertise and if you need it and how much you might need. So let's just go ahead and just jump right into it. So hit rating reduces the chance that your attacks miss, while expertise rating reduces the chance that your attacks are dodged or parried. The hit cap is 9%. If you have a boomkin in your raid that has improved fairy fire, it's 3% less, and it's 1% less if you have a Draenei in your group uh, because they get heroic presence. So assuming you have both of those buffs, you're looking at a 5% hit cap, very reasonable. Now expertise rating, now expertise rating because it handles dodge and parry is gonna have a soft cap and a hard cap. 6.5% um, is where dodge hits the cap. So as you get expertise rating up until 6.5, you're benefiting both a reduction in dodge and parry chances. But once you hit 6.5, everything beyond that is only going to help you with parry. So instead of a hard cap at 6.5, you can technically go above it, but the value of it gets cut in half because it's only benefiting one of the two uh, going forward. So the big question is, is hit needed? Short answer, no, but it's nice to have. Hit rating, like many other threat-focused stats, will help you generate more threat up until you hit the cap of 9%, but there's a point where taking hit over attack power doesn't make a lot of sense. So the conversion is one hit is equivalent to about 2.7 attack power. So for Drape of the Dark Reavers, 17 hit rating is equivalent to about 50, or sorry, 45.9 attack power, uh, making that about, let's say, 80 attack power equivalency. So if a cloak comes along that has over 80 attack power, that is when it makes sense for you to switch that cloak out, even though it does have hit rating and the other one doesn't. That's the that's the point uh, where you you see it as different. It helps to make these conversions in case you have two items with hit rating. One might be lower, the other one has a higher attack power, and you're trying to decide is that extra hit rating worth the reduced attack power. Um, this is a good formula for it, 2.7 attack power for a hit rating. Uh, it, it's a quick metric you could do in your head that will help you determine if you have two pieces, which one's going to be more beneficial to you. Okay, let's talk about expertise now. Is expertise needed? Short answer, no, but it's very nice to have. Long answer, expertise rating, just like hit rating, is going to help with your threat up until the cap of 14%, but after 6.5%, that benefit's cut in half because you're now only benefiting your parry, not your dodge. So 6.5 is a good target if you're looking for something to, to build up to with expertise. Um, now, based on this, up until 6.5%, your expertise is gonna be twice as good as your hit. After 6.5%, it's about equivalent. It's still reducing the chance to not hit the target at the same rate. But up until that 6.5, expertise is just better for you. So one expertise rating is equivalent to a roughly 5.5 attack power, and 15 expertise rating is equivalent to about 82.5 attack power, like on the Grips of Deafness. So that means this cloak is going to give you almost 140 attack power equivalency. So in order to replace that, you need a very, very nice cloak. Uh, this kind of just goes to show you how good it is. Now, the expertise rating at 5.5 is only up until 6.5. Once it hits that 6.5, it's going to drop down just the same as hit and only be 2.7. So keep that in mind as you start building out your expertise and getting hit where you end up putting your points. So what conclusions can we draw from this? Well, expertise is better than hit for tanks. I would argue it's two times better up into that 6.5% marker. Uh, hit is still good, but expertise, it's hard to find. So you're not going to see a ton of expertise on gear right now, uh, but it is a really good item. That's why everyone wants that grips of deafness. Even warriors are wearing grips of deafness when they tank, just because expertise is so nice for them. Um, the next thing I think you can conclude from this is hit is better for DPS than tanks. Now, I know this might be controversial, but let me explain my argument. Uh, as a bear, you do almost all yellow damage. Yes, you can do melee damage, but most of the time you're going to be using maul because if you're tanking, especially if you're main tanking, your rage bar is just going to be topped off the whole time. So you're just going to be spamming all the buttons, including maul, which means your white damage is going to be pretty low. Whereas a uh, feral druid cat or a rogue or a fury warrior or even a hunter, they do a ton of white damage. And the hit cap for white damage is different than the hit cap for yellow damage. Most people, the hit cap for yellow damage is 9%. But look at rogues who a lot of their damage is white damage. And their hit cap is 28% for white damage. So that hit's just going to benefit them twice as much because it's going to help their white damage and it's going to help their yellow damage. Where it does help both of them for us, but once you hit that 9% cap, you're pretty much done. Your white damage is going to be so limited as a bear. Anything over 9% is completely wasted. 
The next thing we can infer is when off tanking stand behind the boss. Now, this would require you understanding what parry is. So parry only works if you're facing the boss, which if you're standing behind the boss, like a good DPS should, you don't have to worry about parry, which is why expertise isn't as good for you. Now, based on this, you can also determine that when you're off tanking to help build up more threat, to you won't you won't get parried at all if you stand behind the boss, allowing you to hit him more, allowing you to generate more threat, all that good stuff. So if you're off tanking and you don't absolutely need to be standing in front of the boss, it's probably better if you just stand behind him to help you build more threat. In fact, in the video that's probably playing in the background still, you're gonna see that when I am off tanking, I'm standing with the DPS and as soon as I pull threat, I turn him around and I take the tank position. That way I can keep up with the tank the whole time. The last thing is never go over the caps. We talked about 9%, we talked about um, 14 point, or sorry, 14% and 6.5%, but keep in mind, if you're at 9% uh, hit cap and you happen to have a boomkin, you might want to consider swapping out some hit gear and putting in a little more attack power because though the equivalency says you know 2.7 attack power once you hit that cap it's essentially zero so you might want to just put something with a little bit more attack power on instead and that's something you always want to keep an eye on uh, i think a lot of people sit around five percent as bears which i think is a pretty comfortable number you don't need to be fully capped but if you do get that improved fairy fire you're going to appreciate it and that's kind of where i would put my mind um, if I'm trying to figure out where I actually want to be, I would go for 5% hit cap on myself personally. And then with uh, expertise, I would try to get that 6.5%. Uh, but that's my opinion. You can obviously go more, you can go less. But uh, just because I know we have a boomkin in our group, I don't worry about that 9% at all. In fact, I don't worry about hit at all. The gear is just going to kind of fall into your lap and you're going to wear it. Um, obviously, for a couple items, you might have to fight for it, like Drape of the Dark Reaver or Grips of Deafness. But you can always just point to this video and say, look, expertise is definitely better for me than hit. It should go to the tanks. Uh, but that's for your guild or your pug or whatever to agree with you on. The last thing we can conclude is people are probably not going to agree with me on some of these. So please be nice in the comment section. I'm always willing to listen to different arguments and opinions on stuff. Uh, but uh, please don't be mean to each other. It's been pretty good on all my uh, comments so far. People have been pretty friendly. But uh, for this, I know this is a hot topic for a lot of people so uh, yeah be nice thanks for watching guys i really do appreciate it i put another video here that covers crit immunity so if you don't know how to be crit immune or if you wanted some pointers on maybe where to get that from some pvp gear this is a cool video to check out thanks for subscribing if you have and take care guys